All right, so we're going to use ProBuilder to draw 3D shapes in Unity. What's up, guys? Adam here from Pixel Mystique. I make games and I help others to learn game dev. If you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing to get game dev tips, tutorials, and inspiration. And hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new videos. The Poly Shape tool is another way for you to create shapes in ProBuilder. It works by drawing points on the screen and connecting them to form a shape. So to do that, click on New Poly Shape. And then let's select a different view from the top. And you can start drawing a shape by clicking on different points. The moment you click the third time, it's going to start to form a triangle which is the minimum amount of points required to form a basic shape. If you click again, it adds another point and it starts to becoming a four-sided shape. And then you just keep going on until you form the shape that you desire. Press spacebar when you're done. And then you can hold this green dot right here and move upward or downward to extrude how high the object would be. Then Press spacebar again, and you're done. You can also adjust the extrusion by modifying the value on the right side here and make it either taller or shorter. Now you might notice that right now as I'm drawing these points, there's no way for me to be super precise. So what I recommend is that you have pro grids and activate it as you are drawing these shapes. This way, let's do another comparison here. I can easily snap to these different points across this grid. If you need help to set up pro grids, I made a video earlier. The link for that video is appearing on screen right now, as well as in the description below. The other cool feature about using PolyShape tool is that you can modify the points and the overall shape at any given time. So to demonstrate this, I can select this um, shape right here and click on Edit PolyShape. I can go to the top view for an easier bird's eye view. And I can start selecting, oops, I can start selecting this shape. and adjust it accordingly. So let's say I want to move this up and maybe align this here. Maybe move this around as well. As you can see, the shape has now evolved and changed according to the movement of the points that I've done. I can also add more points. So by clicking this editing poly shape button, I can go back to editing mode and then there's this um, green sort of um, indicator, this green point right here. I can click on an edge to add one new point and another one right here. So as I move that point, it also moves the edges around just like the previous vertices and points that I've created. So I can keep adding more points or in other words, adding more vertices and I can move them around as I please. However, one word of caution is that sometimes um, certain things that you do when you're editing the poly shape will alter the previous changes you did to the existing mesh. So for example, maybe you decide to move this face right here. If you go to edit poly mode, you can see that now it's forgotten that you move that face. So it does have some drawbacks. But overall, I think it's a very powerful tool that allows you to draw almost any shape that you want. And when combined with Pro Grids, you can create 
all sorts of interesting shapes with more precision. One of the things that I like to do is use this for level design and I can quickly draw out a layout of a map. For example, right here, I can create a simple layout. Uh, there, add a room here, maybe a symmetrical room here, and maybe align this right here. And you already have, you know, a basic layout of a level. So it's good when you are tracing a map. Maybe you drew a map in Photoshop and then you can now import that map into Unity and trace that map using this poly shape tool, which is pretty awesome. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. It is due to their generosity that I'm able to make more games and more videos like this one. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more game dev tips, tutorials, and inspiration. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.